Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create 404 error page in WordPress Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the 404 error page, first of all what you need to do, you have to install the plugin. So click on the add new from here. And here you just have to write down 404 error. And here you will be able to see smart custom 404 error page here. So we have to install this plugin. Now let's just click on the activate. Alright, so we have activated the plugin. So now what I need to do, first of all, we would have a look at our website. So let's click on our website. Alright, so this is our website. Okay, and as you can see that we have the four different pages here. We have the home, we have the about service and the contact. Okay, but if I just try to write down something else here. Okay, so let's just write down nothing here. Now you will be able to see that this page does not seem to exist on our website. Okay, so how can you create the custom 404 error page? Okay, so that is really easy. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we have to create a new page. And in the pages, I will just simply click on the add new. And here what we need to do, we have to add the title to our page. So that would be 404 error page all right so now what we need to do we have to click on the edit element all right so now what we need to do i'll simply add the image here and i will simply click on the choose image and click on the media library so i have already downloaded an illustration for 404 error page so if you're wondering that where from you can download the illustration for the 404 page you can simply go to the free pick.com and from there you will be able to get a lot of the different illustration for for a full error page and you can simply download them for free as well okay so let's go back to our wordpress here click on our illustration click on the select all right so this is our 404 error page okay so this is looking really large so i have to change the size of our image Okay, so that would be it. Okay, so this is looking better. Okay, so along with that, I would simply like to add the button here. And I would actually like to put this into the center. And I would just simply write down, go back to main page. All right. So now if I just click on the style. And now what I want to do, I actually want to make my text look bold. So let's just click here and the weight would be bold. Okay, so this is looking better. And I can also change the family here. So let's just try to go with Madonna here. Okay, so this is looking better. And along with the button, I would also like to add the list of the pages that we have on our website. So for that, I would actually like to add the heading here. So in the heading, let's just write down important links okay so we can change it to the h3 as well all right so this is looking better and i would actually like to put this into the center all right so now in the last i would actually like to add the menu here okay so there are the different ways to add the menu you can simply add the text editor and inside that you can add the text and connect that with the link of the pages okay but right now i will be using navigation menu here Okay, so let's drag this and put this here. And you can see this, we have our main menu here and we have the different style. Okay, so if you want to use this inline navigation, you would have to install the plugin HD Mega. Then you would be able to use this inline menu. So let's click on the style here. Okay, so if you want to use this inline navigation, you simply have to install the plugin that is HD Mega. Okay, so I will simply go with this style. And I will simply click on the style here. And here I would actually try to change the typography of our main menu. Alright, so that would be actually light. Okay, so I think I would go with 400 here. Alright, so this is looking better. And in a similar way, I can change the font family. So that would be Verdana again. So this is looking better. And I think we're good here. 
So in a similar way, I would like to change the typography of the heading. So that would be Vardana as well. So let's just click on the family, click on the Vardana and here we are. All right. So this is how we can design the custom 404 error page here. All right. So as you can see here that our custom 404 error page is ready, but I have to add the spacing here between the button heading and our menu here. So let's just try to add the space. I just click on the button and click on the advanced setting and here I would like to add the padding at the bottom so let's unlink the values here first and this would be 20 px okay so this is looking better and in the similar way I will simply click on the important links go inside the advanced settings unlink the padding and write down 20 px here and for the menu I just simply click here and go inside the advanced settings. I'll link the padding again and let's just write down 20 px here, or we can go with the 30 px here as well. All right, so this is looking better. Now let's just click on the publish. Okay, so let's just go back to our WordPress dashboard now. I just click here, click on the exit. So we have successfully created the custom 404 error page. So now what we need to do, we have to go inside the appearance and in the appearance, you can see the option of 404 error page. So let's click here. And now what we need to do, we have to add our 404 error page. Okay. So right now, as you can see that when I had written down the thing here, which does not exist. So we were having this page here. Now, if I just select the page that we have created earlier, so if I just select this, and click on 404 error page click on the save changes and now if I just go back to our page here click on the refresh now you will be able to see our custom 404 error page here so we have our illustration we have our button here and we have the important links of our pages here all right so this is how we can create the custom 404 error page in the WordPress so if you really find this video useful Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.